This tutorial shows you how to modify the labels in a Maptitude map. You can change the style of labels for an entire layer, a feature display, a selection set, or even an individual feature. Use the Display Manager to make most changes to labels. If the Display Manager is not visible, choose Map Display Manager Toolbar. Click the symbol next to an item to change its label settings. Choose the font, style, and other settings and click OK. Maptitude updates the labels on the map. Notice that the Ireland label is partially cropped. Labels on areas are automatically placed at the center of an area, so only part of this label is visible at the default location. If you do not want to see a partial label like this, then check this box. When I click Apply, you can see that the partial label is no longer displayed. However, you can also choose the Smart Alignment option. This tells Maptitude to try and fit the area label somewhere in the visible portion of the map. Notice now that Ireland and France are labeled on the map. On the Overlaps tab, you can choose to use an alternate field if there's not enough room for the entire label. For example, I can choose to show the ISO code if there's not enough room for the whole country name. You can see that when I click Apply, there is now room for a label in Belgium. You can also choose to prioritize the labels. For example, if I want to make sure that the country label is always displayed, I might want to change the priority to the highest level, whereas for labels on streets, you would likely want to use a low priority. You can choose to make sure that countries with higher population or larger area get labeled before other countries. And finally, you can choose at what scales labels should be visible by entering values in the largest and smallest drop-down lists. On the background tab, you can choose to use shields, if you're labeling highway numbers, for example, frames, and I'll click Apply here so that you can see what these would look like. Or you can use shadows or halos. Many of the layers in Map2Do Maps use feature display settings to categorize features. You can change the individual feature settings in the same manner. For example, I can set the labels for the UK capital to be larger. You can also customize individual labels with a custom label tool. For example, you can move a label. And you can change the style of a label by double clicking on it. You can use this tool to add a callout line to a label you've moved. You can hide a label by right clicking and choosing Suppress Display. And you can use this tool to rotate a label. Finally, you can restore any label you've moved or rotated by right clicking on it and choosing Restore Default Location. You can use any field to label a layer. For example, I'm going to turn the postcode area layer on and hide the city layer just so the map doesn't get too cluttered. I've already attached some of my data to the postcode area layer and want to use my data for the labels. For example, I'm going to choose the customers field from the drop down list. When I click OK, you can see that the errors are labeled with a number of customers. Let me open the Labels dialog box again, and this time I'm going to label the areas with the sales data. And choose a different format for the values. When I click OK, you can see that the areas are now labeled with my sales data. Finally, there is an option to use more than one field in a label. This time I will choose multiple fields from the field drop down list. Choose some fields that I want to see in the label, such as the postcode area and population. And Maptitude gives me the option of using different colors for the fields. I'll display the population in red. And now, when I click Apply, you can see the areas are labeled with the two fields. The last thing I will do is make the two lines a little closer together by reducing the line height. And add a halo. And click OK. And that wraps up this tutorial on labeling features in Maptitude.